Again, it's the Gila reason today we have unboxing the car for November because it's almost November on Friday. Okay. October is almost gone. October is almost gone. And Gracie, as usual, is very excited. What's your name, you? <laughs> okay. She's investigating. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Um, uh oh, cat ages loaf kicker. Oh, that she must has be it. it. Okay, so it's a loaf of bread. All you need is loaf. This is pretty <laughs> heavy. Catnip and dental toy. You want to chew on that? You want to eat? You want a loaf of bread? Okay, let's see. Nope. Raven. Fish. Like a musician day. Homemade bread day. Oh, she got another thing out. Oh, Gracie. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> okay, national homemade bread day. That's jellyfish day. You gotta wait. <laughs> November 17th marks a day dedicated to the simple yet profound pleasure of homemade bread. Whether you're a seasoned baker or just starting your culinary journey, there's something undeniably satisfying about kneading dough, watching it rise and enjoying the warm, fresh aroma of freshly baked bread. Bread has been a staple food for humans for a millennium. Its origins can be traced back to ancient Egypt where early civilizations ground grains into flour and mixed it with water to create a dough. The dough was then cooked on hot stones or in primitive ovens. As civilization progressed, so too did bread making techniques. The Romans, for example, developed a variety of breads including panis, a simple white bread, and foetia, a flatbread topped with herbs and olive oil. There's a unique sense of accomplishment that comes with baking your own bread. It's a process that requires patience, attention, and a bit of love. Yeah, it's very good, but it gets eaten up in no time. It's a lot of work for it getting eaten up in no time. From the, bread daily, uh, yeah. from the satisfying act of kneading dough to this anticipation of slicing into a freshly baked loaf, Please every step nice. of the process is rewarding. Why make homemade bread? Taste. Homemade bread is simply delicious. It's free from preservatives and artificial ingredients, allowing the natural flavors of flour and other ingredients to shine through. Freshness. Nothing beats the taste of fresh, warm bread. Homemade bread is best enjoyed immediately after baking when it's still soft and fragrant. Customization. With homemade bread, you have complete control over the ingredients and the final product. You can create your own unique creations. Okay then. Tips for making homemade bread. Start with a good recipe. Choose a recipe that's suitable for Crazy. your oh, skill level and the equipment you have available. Use quality ingredients, fresh flour, good quality yeast, and pure water are essential for making delicious bread. Be patient. Bread making takes time. Allow the dough to rise properly and don't rush the baking process. Experiment. Don't be afraid to try new things. Experiment with different flours, add-ins, and shaping techniques to discover your favorite bread recipes. So this November 17th, let's celebrate National Homemade Bread Day by getting our hands dirty and creating truly delicious. Okay. <laughs> Gracie's neck got longer. <laughs> <Like you're, laughs> okay, Ricky Raven, did she attack you again? Oh. <laughs> okay. She get that jellyfish and Gracie tried to remove it early. Yeah, that's what she wanted. Now she probably won't want it though. So we got a blue jellyfish. I'm gonna need to oh, do some scissors to remove the tag. Oh, there you go. You like that bread? You like that bread. Now that she's all catnipped up, she's gonna be She's even beating aggressive. up her own kittens, too. Hey, wait, here's the jellyfish. You want jellyfish? It might sting. <laughs> jellyfish. <laughs> That's for World Jellyfish Day, November 3rd. With November 3rd just around the corner, it's time to circle that date on your calendars and prepare for a delightful celebration of the wonders of the deep blue on World Jellyfish Day. 
This unique thing is dedicated to paying homage to the mesmerizing and enigmatic creatures that gracefully glide through the world's oceans. Crazy, you're insane. Jellyfish, often described as delicate and translucent, are so much more than meets the eye. Their importance in marine ecosystems cannot be overstated. In fact, they've been gracefully drifting through our oceans for over 500 million years, making them one of the Earth's oldest living creatures. Their fascinating biology and remarkable adaptability have allowed them to thrive in a diverse array of oceanic environments. On World Jellyfish Day, we have the incredible opportunity to reflect on the vital role of these gelatinous marvels play in our planet's oceans. The health and abundance of jellyfish populations serve as a barometer for the overall well-being of marine ecosystems. Understanding and preserving these ecosystems is crucial not only for the creatures that call the ocean home, but also for the overall health of our planet. Whether you're a passionate marine enthusiast, a nature lover, or simply someone who's curious about the mysteries of the sea, this day is the perfect occasion to delve, in, delve deeper into the world of jellyfish and their intricate roles in the grand tapestry of life. Share your favorite jellyfish facts, breathtaking images, or enchanting underwater experiences with these magnificent creatures. By doing so, we can inspire others to develop a greater appreciation for and commitment to the protection of these captivating sea dwellers. As we gather to celebrate Royal Jellyfish Day on November 3rd, let's unite in a collective effort to raise awareness about the importance of preserving our oceans and all the remarkable inhabitants. Our oceans are not only a source of wonder and awe, but also a vital component of our planet's overall well-being. So let's celebrate World Jellyfish Day with enthusiasm and a renewed commitment to protecting and cherishing the oceans that encompass these enchanting sea creatures. Happy World Jellyfish Day! <laughs> hey guys, did you know that baby jellyfish start out as little plant-like sticks? And then once they're old enough, they break off and float away. <laughs> like the entire Whoa. stick breaks into multiple jellyfish. <laughs> oh no. Jellyfish are weird. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Whiz Wednesday Cat Kicker toy. So it has the cello on there. Welcome to the oddity with these charmingly eerie cat toys. Oh. I stole and ate the scissors. Okay. <laughs> so it has catnip. Can you get you weird? Which is really weird. Radio said your mom's wild. <laughs> so do you put the catnip in here? Is it open? Yep. It doesn't open very far though. You think that other part would open up too? Maybe it does. It's just hard to open. Okay, I'm just gonna shove some in there. You always get more than you need, I guess, yeah. for a replacement. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so which one is this? Uh, musician, I bet. It's not Day of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> National Hug a Musician Day. Don't if you don't know them, don't hug them. November 13, 2024 is National Hug a Musician Day. This unofficial holiday celebrates the importance of music in our lives and the people who create it. The exact origins of the National Hug and Musician Day are unknown, but it's believed to have started in the early 200s. I mean, 2000s. <laughs> 200s. The early 200s. 200. The holiday is a way to show appreciation to musicians and to encourage people to support the music industry. There are many reasons why we should celebrate National Hug and Musician Day. Music has the power to bring people together, to make us feel happy, and to help us through tough times. Musicians play an important role in our lives, and they deserve our support. There are many ways to celebrate National Hug a Musician Day. Here are a few ideas. Hug a musician. This is the most obvious way to celebrate the holiday. If you know a musician, give them a hug. Yeah, if you know them. 
and tell mm -hmm. them how much you appreciate the music. Go to a concert. Support your favorite musician by going to a concert. Share your favorite music. Share your favorite music with your friends and family. Write a letter to your favorite musician. Tell them how much their music means to you. And tell them you're stalking them. Let's get Oh, no. <laughs> Create a playlist list of your favorite songs. Share it with your friends and family. Learn to play an instrument. Start your own musical journey. Volunteer at a music venue. Help to support the music community. Donate to a music charity. Help to support musicians in need. National Hug a Musician Day is a great opportunity to show our appreciation for the musicians who bring joy to our lives. Let's make this holiday a special one by celebrating music and the people who create it. Okay. There's one thing left and Gracie's sitting in it. Hey Gracie, can I have that? Can I have this? This? <laughs> no. Oops, the tag fell off. What's the matter with these comments? Oh, it's one of those pet huts they love until they destroy. <laughs> and then when you wash it, it it's too flabby. It's got schools it's all over it. Oop, the pad's a little bent, so it's... Uh-oh. I'm going to keep popping up. You know, Muffin's going to want to go underneath the padding. Oh, yeah, he likes to go underneath it. He's like, here. it's almost like he knew there was a bed. He's like, here I come. He's been summoned. Summoning Muffin. So, this is Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, November 1st or 2nd. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a vibrant and joyous holiday celebrated throughout Mexico and parts of Central and South America. This two-day festivity held on November 1st and 2nd honors the lives of deceased loved ones. Contrary to what the name might suggest, it's not a somber occasion, but rather a colorful celebration filled with music, food, and laughter. The roots of Dia de los Muertos can be traced back to pre-Columbian indigenous cultures. These cultures believed that death was not the end, but a transition to another realm. They celebrated their ancestors and honored their spirits with offerings of food, drink, and flowers. When the Spanish arrived, they attempted to, to suppress these indigenous traditions and replace them with Catholic celebrations. However, the two cultures eventually merged, resulting in the unique blend of traditions we see today. Dia de los Muertos is a time for families to gather and remember their loved ones. They decorate altars known as ofrendas and with pictures, photographs, flowers, food, and other items that were important to the deceased. These altars are believed to serve as a bridge between the living and the dead, allowing spirits to visit their loved ones. One of the most iconic symbols of Dia de los Muertos is the marigold, or simpachil, I can't pronounce that. These bright flat yellow flowers are believed to guide the spirits of the dead back to earth. They are often used to create paths leading to the ofrendas. Another popular tradition is the pan de muerto, a sweet bread shaped like a human figure. It is often decorated with bones and skulls and it is often filled with fruit or chocolate. While Dia de los Muertos is a time for honoring the dead, it's also a time for fun and celebration. People often dress up in colorful costumes, including skeletons and other spooky characters. There are parades, dances, and music performances. It's a time to enjoy delicious food like tamales and mole, and to spend time with loved ones. So if you're looking for a unique and unforgettable experience, consider celebrating Dia de los Muertos. It's a chance to learn about a rich cultural tradition and to honor the lives of those who have passed on. Okay, so that was the November box. <laughs> Where are you She's going? into my Halloween stuff. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.